So I would like to uh, separate between two things, uh, susceptibility to the infection and severity of infection. In reality, we don't have any research to show that people with cardiovascular disease or obesity or diabetes are more susceptible to the infection. But if they catch the infection, the course of the infection will be longer and the complications will be high. So susceptibility is the same, but if the infection occurs, it will be severer in those people with cardiovascular disease, obesity, or diabetes. I think we are uh, forced now uh, to try uh, in uh, full flange, I will say, telemedicine. Uh, currently, we are doing uh, phone consultation. Uh, but I think in the future, we also will do a video consultation to be a complete telemedicine. Uh, I think there is a lot of adaptation going on right now, uh, some relaxation of the HIPAA regulation, uh, some speed in making more regulation uh, that will enhance billing uh, using insurance, uh, billing code for uh, phone visits. Even Medicare is ad uh, adopting you now the uh, phone visits. Uh, uh, but no more than 10 minutes, uh, but others uh, can accept it up to 30 minutes. So it looks like uh, uh, the era after COVID-19 uh, virus would be different from the era before that in the relationship or how the communication would be uh, between physician and patients. Technology uh, will be used more often in the future. This is actually the most important uh, question that you ask it because um, people around patients with diabetes should be very, very careful, especially if the patient with diabetes is in uh, old age, more than 65, or the person has other cardiovascular problem or other chronic health problem uh, because it is extremely dangerous. So people around them should, have, uh, should uh, apply the extreme precautions uh, in dealing with uh, with them, if they are out, uh, they have to be very careful. Uh, they have to clean their hands very, very well. If someone gets infected at home, uh, that person should isolate uh, him or herself in a separate room. Uh, they close the door on the room, use separate uh, uh, bathroom, uh, and cover their uh, mouth and nose with mask all the time. And uh, the cleaning method should be, uh, be very careful and uh, don't come in even uh, approximate distance with anyone with diabetes. Uh, it is better that uh, if someone caught infection in the home, uh, that the person with diabetes will uh, move to some other place. Uh, it will be safer for them. You know, uh, as they are at very high risk for uh, complications from this infection, uh, they have to be very, very careful. Uh, in my personal opinion, I, I usually advise people with any chronic medical conditions uh, or people on uh, immunosuppressive medication to stay home, uh, not even go outside for any reason unless it is absolutely necessary. So catching an infection, uh, and mind that catching infection can occur from uh, people who are not symptomatic and they may think that they don't have the virus. Uh, so they have to take extra precaution. And when they are back home, they have to use all uh, the uh, self-cleaning uh, method uh, uh, with the soap and water and, uh, and also uh, can, they can use uh, any um, sanitizers uh, with alcohol more than 60%. Uh, but they have to be very, very, very careful not to catch an infection. Yeah, it affects it significantly. As I mentioned, the, the course is a uh, severe course, and um, blood sugar can shoot up significantly high. Uh, so in that scenario, um, uh, people usually don't understand that, that when they get infection, the blood sugar will be very, very, very high. And uh, because people sometimes feel uh, some nausea or loss of appetite, they don't eat, they don't take their medications. In reality, medication should be increased. And especially insulin should be increased 
for patients who are treated with insulin, either type 1 or type uh, 2. In uh, severe cases, when they are in the ICU, uh, we are suggesting now that um, people may use uh, CGM. Uh, although CGM may not be uh, uh, perfect uh, because of hypoxia and because of reduced perfusion, uh, but at least uh, it will reduce the contact time uh, while they are using insulin uh, infusion or uh, they are using intensive insulin uh, therapy. So um, uh, definitely uh, people with diabetes need extra care. I will suggest for anyone with diabetes uh, to test more frequent during this period. Uh, if the blood sugar is high and they have type 1 diabetes, they should ch check their uh, uh, urine for ketones and keep ketone strips all the time available. Uh, because the possibility of uh, developing the diabetic ketoacidosis will be significantly higher in patients with type 1 diabetes.